Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, December 1st. You'll be interested to know today is National Peppermint Bark Day. On National Peppermint Bark Day, we celebrate the seasonal treat we cannot wait to get our hands on every Christmas. The unbeatable combination of mint and chocolate is the perfect sweet indulgence. 24 more days until Christmas, folks. Now let's check out the weather in the San Diego area. This morning, it's partly cloudy and 54 degrees with 90% humidity. Tonight, the sun will set at 4.42 p.m., and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.33 a.m. It looks like we're in for a day with some sun, partly sunny with a high near 65. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 48. Calm wind becoming east around 5 miles per hour after midnight. Looking ahead, we should have a sunny weekend with temps in the high 60s. Now here is some info from Surfline.com. Friday will see wave size edge up at the winter exposures, but quality isn't as good across the board. As our area of low pressure slides east, we'll have elevated northerly wind for many areas today. Expect widespread waste to chest high surf to continue with the winter focal points that favor shorter period northwest swell running head high to overhead. The earlier morning window on Saturday will have a decent amount of northwest swell mix left over. Wind also looks better with many zones in a offshore flow to start the day. Average breaks go waist to stomach high in the morning with good breaks chest plus. Size drops off through the afternoon with smaller leftovers on tap for Sunday. We'll continue to see some low-end southern hemisphere swell blending in through the weekend. The first high tide today will be five feet just before 10.30 a.m. with a zero-foot low tide at 6.30 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 62.5 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, severe thunderstorms across southeast Texas and a long-duration winter storm for the Pacific Northwest. A storm system moving east across southeast Texas today will set the stage for scattered strong to severe thunderstorms. The main hazards will be tornadoes, gusty winds, and hail. A series of fronts moving across the northwestern quadrant of the U.S. will lead to a long-duration winter storm beginning today. Heavy snow is likely within the Cascades, while heavy rain is expected along coastal areas. And now a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real, south, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delight. Indulge in the divine experience of their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini during lunch or just breeze through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5, so stop on by and grab a coffee and pastry to go. And don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. In top news, Tesla's Cybertruck is officially on sale with the first 10 trucks delivered at an event live-streamed on Elon Musk's social media network. Priced at $61,000 for the base model, it boasts a special Tesla-designed steel alloy and a range of configurations with varying prices. Musk highlighted its durability, claiming it's better than any other truck and more of a sports car than any other sports car. The base model, with rear-wheel drive, is expected in 2025, while the all-wheel drive and the high-end Cyber Beast are set for 2024 deliveries. Now let's talk science and technology. Researchers at the University of Birmingham are developing a handheld eye scanner 
to swiftly detect traumatic brain injuries. The prototype combines a smartphone, a safe laser called ID, and a Roman spectroscopy system. By analyzing the optical nerve and neuroretina, the device identifies subtle molecular changes indicating TBI. Tested successfully on post-mortem pigs, the tool aims to expedite TBI diagnosis, crucial in the critical post-injury golden hour. Clinical feasibility studies and human testing are next steps for this potentially life-saving device. And in the stock market. Doc Martin's private equity owner, Permira, has withdrawn nearly $1.6 billion from the business, including fees and dividends, over the past decade. And the company's shares have plunged by almost 80% since its London stock market listing in 2021. Doc Martens recently issued its fourth profit warning, attributing the decline to ongoing challenges in its U.S. operations. Premira initially purchased the brand for $400 million in 2014, later valuing it at $5.1 billion during the stock market debut. The firm is now preparing to list another footwear business, Golden Goose, in Italy. Woof. Moving on to sports. Big, big weekend for college football with the conference championship games. Tonight, number five Oregon is playing at number three Washington to crown the Pac 12 champion. And Saturday, number one Georgia is playing at number eight Alabama for the SEC championship. Number two Michigan is playing at number 16 Iowa for the Big Ten Championship. Number 14, Louisville, is playing at number four, Florida State, for the ACC Championship. And number 18, Oklahoma State, is playing at number seven, Texas, for the Big 12 Championship. Last night on Thursday Night Football, we got a good old shootout with a lot of scoring. The Dallas Cowboys moved to 9-3 with a win over the Seahawks 41-35. On Sunday, the Chargers are on the road taking on the Patriots, and the Rams are at home against the Browns. And in the NBA, the Lakers fell to the Thunder 133-110, and the Clippers on the road fall to the Warriors 120-114. This weekend we get... Warriors at Clippers and Rockets at Lakers on Saturday. And on Sunday, everyone is resting for the upcoming mid-season tournament on Monday. In national hockey, the Kings were off, and the Ducks playing at home against the Caps took the L 5-3. Moving on to more of a local vibe, in our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a local Pilates studio to bring you some free classes. So listen up. Here's what we love about Pilates. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Integrating mindful movements, it positively influences overall vitality. Scientific research affirms its benefits, connecting Pilates to enhanced core strength, improve flexibility and better posture. So now you can check out Club Pilates in downtown Encinitas for a free class. And be sure to tell them that Sunny Mornings Encinitas sent you by. And now back to our show. In local news, this weekend there are so many fun things to do. Highlights include Elf the Musical at Welk Theater, Proof, at Backyard Renaissance Theater and Comedian, Nainj Patel at Balboa Theater. Also, enjoy James Garner's tribute to Johnny Cash and the tree lighting celebration at the Forum in Carlsbad. Or you can engage in some holiday festivities with events like December Nights at Balboa Park and the Encinitas Holiday Parade. And in entertainment news, Buckle up, because the TED TV series, streaming exclusively on Peacock January 11th, 
bring Seth MacFarlane's raunchy plush doll back into our lives. Set in 1993, the show follows high schooler John with his best bud, Ted. MacFarlane voices Ted and Max Burkholder plays young John. The show promises the same debauchery as the movies, introducing new characters like John's cousin Blair. Despite a different cast, fans can expect the signature wit and over-the-top antics that made Ted a pop culture phenomenon. The series comprises seven episodes and explores Ted's role in helping John navigate high school challenges. I can't wait. Well, already, folks, it's time for the thought of the day. From Zig Ziglar, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. Whether you're heading to work, an event, or just enjoying the day, stay safe and enjoy yourself to the fullest. We'll be back tomorrow with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.